Well, HCU basketball star Darius's lead death shocked communities both locally and nationally when he was shot and killed in his hometown of Harlem, New York. Since then, tributes have poured in in his honor. Our Chancellor Johnson has more on his emotional story. And what was one of the best college basketball games of the season? Darius Lee made national headlines last year when he scored over 50 points in a four overtime game to help lead Houston Baptist, now renamed Houston Christian, to a win over McNeese State. D. Lee, as his friends and family called him, was set to return for his final year as one of the best players in the conference before he was tragically murdered in his hometown of Harlem, New York over the summer. His teammates still reeling, his family still heartbroken, but they, along with many others, have continued to honor his life and legacy the D. Lee way. As you see, like, stories and stuff like this happening, but then when it happens to somebody that's so close to you, it's like, is this really happening? And I think it's still a little bit unreal to me. Sometimes I, I, I be thinking it's still not real. Like, I be hoping. When it happened, I cried every day for like three months. I play that night over my head a thousand one times, but that is my reality right now. Oh, everybody's showing them mad love. Like, everywhere we go, everywhere we go. Like, it's just, it means a lot that his name is still alive. Described as a goofy but humble kid, Darius Donye Lee was born and raised in Harlem, New York. Darius was, was a good kid, like better than me when I was younger. <laughs> he just liked to play his video games and hang out with his friends. That's all Darius wanted to do, and play ball, of course. He was just a lovable person. He just, all he wanted to do was play basketball. That's all he wanted to do. How much did he love it? <sighs> Maybe more than anything in this world. <laughs> D. Lee's love for the game was exemplified on the court. The 6'6 forward became a standout athlete at his high school of St. Raymond and continued at the junior college level where Darius made a push to play at a D1 university. Anytime a guy is an All-American and, uh, and someone of his size and ability, uh, you take notice. You look at him and go, all right, I know, I know you did it at the junior college level. Can you do this at, at this level? And, and uh, certainly he proved uh, that he could. Wait. In the corner. And he proved it in a record setting way. They have to go. Lee, tough shot in. Darius Lee beats the buzzer. In addition to being named second team all conference, during the 2021 season against conference rival McNeese State, Lee scored 52 points, leading Houston Baptist University to a four overtime win. 50 point game has put him in elite company in HBU history. 50 in college is crazy just to start with, but just, we knew every time he had the ball, like we were good. He was just a calming presence. He told me I'm ready to run it back and win a championship. That's all he focused on. Team goals, he wanted to win a championship, and also he was going for player of the year, which I thought he would have got easy, but yeah, he was, it was going to be his year. Ahead of his final year at HBU, Darius returned to Harlem for the summer. After spending time with family during Father's Day weekend, Darius attended a barbecue with some friends. He said, I'm going over here, my friends. I just said, be safe. And that was the last time I, um, I saw him. I gave him a pound. He walked down the block. And it was right there. Like, he didn't even go far. And I woke up about 6.15, 6.30, something like that, and looked at my phone and saw I'd missed a call from Darius's mom. I said, Coach, I have some bad news. That was one of my toughest calls. I said, Coach, they took my baby. And I was like, Taryn, what are you talking about? Taryn's son was innocently caught in the middle of a gunfight. Nine people were shot. He was the only one who died. Darius Lee was 21 years old. Not my brother. Like, he, he didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve it. Man, I haven't cried this much in my life, ever. I'm still crying. And it's like, the longer I go on, the more I miss him. Like, this is crazy. This is a team still grieving. We're still mourning in a lot of ways. We want him to be remembered in the best possible light. Lee's light, life, and legacy has touched so many. From those who knew him. And having that pass. D. Lee uh, reminds us what we're playing for this year. Every day that I step on the court, I take, try to take a little piece of him with me. 
so he can keep, like his legacy can still be out there. To those who never got the chance. You can just tell his character, you know, like they don't gotta do none of this, you know? So I know Darius meant a lot to a lot of people, it meant the world to me. But one of the most meaningful honors for Darius's friends and family was hearing his name called during Houston Baptist's December graduation. He knew that's what I wanted from him. Oh, it's just a degree. <laughs> I think she understands how much her son meant to our guys. And, and she said to me, it means a lot to her to know her son was loved. And I think we've shown her that. I love it. I love it. The knowing that um, he was so loved by so many people. I raised a good kid. He left his mark. Darius's family has set up the D. Lee 23 Foundation in his honor with a purpose of mentoring and helping youth in the Harlem area. It's complete with tournaments of D. Lee's favorite thing to do, play basketball.